Hello everyone, alright this is a 15 random question video. Before I start, I would just like to say to anyone that lives in Port Elizabeth or close to Port Elizabeth, this weekend me and my, a few of my buddies we are gonna raise funds, clothes, food, anything we can for the homeless people and we can see if we can make the homeless smile. Please guys, if you live in Port Elizabeth, you can like dispatch any of the surrounding areas. We will be in Utena on, on Saturday uh, at the Pick and Pay Shopping Centre. We'll be there from early morning till late night. We'll be raising funds from early in the morning till about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll be raising funds, then we will be preparing sandwiches, we'll be preparing nice meals for the homeless, and then later that night we'll go out to the streets and we'll give it out to them. So please, guys, come and help us raise some funds. And let's make them smile guys because they deserve it. Not all of them can help for being on the streets and being homeless. I mean, it can be maybe their parents that abandoned them when they were still small children. You never know. Alright, yeah, and for those of you uh, wondering why my hair is so long, I'm gonna get a haircut on Saturday. So, yes. There's a lot happening Saturday, so please guys come and join us. Okay, you guys will see me look often to the right hand side, that's where my computer is, that's where the question is, so my cell phone is a little bit not good. Alright, so let's get started. Question 1. Who made the last incoming call on your phone? Who made the last call? That would be Bert Dippenard, it's my friend. And Bert, don't call me again. While I'm in the office, I'm very busy. <laughs> Just joking. Alright, question number two. Grab the book nearest to you and turn to page 18 on line 4. Right, nearest book. It's working for dummies. Page 18. Line 4. Right there guys, go. 9, 4. Yeah. Okay, next question. Where would you retire to? I don't know, to be honest. I've lived my whole life on a farm just out front B. And that's where I would... And I would like to retire there to like this. Heaven on earth, it's quiet, you can do what you want. It's just a nice place to be. So yeah, I think I would retire where I am at the moment. Okay, let's see, next question. What time is bedtime? I don't have a bedtime. If I feel like going to bed at 7 o'clock, I go to bed at 7 o'clock. If I feel uh, like going to bed at 1 o'clock the next morning, I go to bed at 1 o'clock. There's no time for me. As you can see, I'm still in my work clothes because I'm still at the office. So, I don't have a bedtime, I go to bed when I want to go to bed. So yeah, hope that answers your, your question. Okay, let's see, next question. Do you believe in love at first sight? I do believe in love at first sight. It hasn't happened to me yet, but I do believe in love at first sight. There's no other way to describe it, I just believe in it. What is on the wall of the room you are in? There's nothing. Nothing on the walls. Because I'm at the office. And sorry I can't show the camera because I'm not allowed to. Yeah, there's only air conditioning and that's it. Nothing else. Okay, next question. If you could change one thing in the world regardless of guilt or politics, what would you do? I don't know, I think I would help all the homeless people, everyone that hasn't got jobs. I would try, and, try my utmost best to create jobs for them. It can be big jobs, small jobs, any kind of jobs. A job is a job. Like a, I'm a web developer. I don't see myself better than the person sweeping the streets outside. I, I, I'm not judgmental because the guy outside that sweeping the street, he can be much more happy in his job than I am at my job. 
it all depends on how you see the world. If you think you are less important because you're cleaning the streets, that's not the correct way to think. Because if it weren't for you, the streets would be dirty, there would be papers everywhere. Because so women actually give thanks to those people and not see ourselves as better than them because we're not. Next question. Have you ever ridden on a motorbike? Yes, I have ridden on a motorbike. That was about 10 years ago. Yeah, I think it was 10 years ago. Way back it was on a scrambler. I can't remember what size it was. But it was uh, average size and it was like a long time ago, so I can't remember that much. But yeah, it was lacquer, but I don't like motorbikes because it's dangerous, especially on the road. It's very dangerous. Sorry for that, my camera is breaking. <laughs> I really, if someone can sponsor me a new camera, please, guys, you know where to find me. I'll put my address in the description below. If you don't have any, have you ever thought of getting one? What, guys? If you don't have any, have you ever thought of getting one? What, what do you guys What the hell? Skip the next question. What do you think about the most? What do you think about the most? I, I don't know what that means, guys. What do you think about the most? I don't know, it's the most. <laughs> Where did you grow up? Well, like I said, I, I grew up just outside Port Elizabeth on a small holding, like a, it's a small farm basically. It's two hectares. It's, it's really, it's, it's, I would say it's heaven on earth. It's quiet, you can do what you want. There's, there is crime, but not as much crime. But yeah, it's, it's really, it's a nice place to be. I'll make a video on that if you guys want. It's a very lack of place to be. It's about two hectares. Yes, I, I have got any, I've got uh, animals, I've got goats and dogs. I used to have chickens, but I had to sell them. <laughs> yeah, because that's a long story, I'll tell you later. Okay, next question. Is the glass half empty or half full? In my opinion, it's half full. Because I'm a very positive guy. Half empty is, I'm, I'm seeing the world negative. I'm seeing it positive because it's still all in, so it means I'm positive. And I'm not always positive, I'm most of the time positive. So, yeah, I see the glass half full and not half empty. Okay, let's see. Second last question. No, fourth last question, sorry. Third last question. My bad. Have you ever won a trophy? No, I have not, unfortunately. I've won a medal before, um, about two years ago, I did kickboxing, I got my EP colors, and then I went to Cape Town, I got my SA colors, I got second place in points fighting. Um, I, could go, I could have gone to America, but it's way too expensive, it's like 40,000 rand, and I haven't got that kind of money. So yeah, I've gotten a medal but no trophies before, but that's bad. Okay, second last question. Which store would you choose to match your credit card? Yeah, alright. Let's see. I like computers and I like cameras. It's, it's, it's a difficult one. I'll go 50-50 maybe. But if I had to choose, I, would, I think I would choose maybe like, like a hardware shop, like computers, that's, uh, that, but I also sell cameras. I would say computer land maybe. Maybe spend my money everything there because they sell cameras and they sell uh, computers. I would have said Magic Warehouse, Magic Warehouse, but they only sell computers and games and software. So yeah, I would say computer land. I don't know any other hardware place. So yeah. <laughs> okay, last question. 
How many keys is on that key ring? Right? So that's it guys, 15 random questions. If you guys got any questions, please leave them below. Just, and wipe it down there guys, please smack that like button, it would mean the world to me. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, this channel ain't just about vlogging, it's not just about gaming, it's about anything. It's, if you guys want me to do a challenge, drop the challenge down there below in the comment sections. Um, I'm all about anything guys, vlogging, challenges, gaming collapse anything guys drop them below i'll do it i promise you guys see you guys next time